buenos dias. Buenos dias. That means good morning in Spanish. I hope you are doing well. Thank you for joining us for this abiding reflection. It's taken today from Matthew chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. It's the baptism of Jesus. Verse 16 reads this way. When he, Jesus, had been baptized, Jesus came up immediately from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and alighting upon him. And suddenly a voice came from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. I want you to first notice the Trinity in these two verses. We have Jesus coming up out of the water, the Son of God. We have the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, descending upon him like a dove. And we have the voice of the Father from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. That's the Trinity. Jesus, the Holy Spirit, and God the Father. Right in these two verses. That's number one. Number two, I want you to notice what the Father says regarding His Son. Again, in verse 17, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. It's astounding to me, this statement of God the Father... He says about his son, I'm well pleased with him. And yet, at this point, this is the beginning of Jesus' ministry, Jesus has not done a single miracle. And he's not preached a single sermon. In fact, Jesus' life for 30 years was mostly in obscurity. We know very little about the 30 years previous of Jesus' life. And yet the Father says, I'm well pleased with him. Not one person has been healed of blindness. Not one person has been raised from the dead. He hasn't walked on water. He hasn't preached a sermon on the mount. He hasn't fed the 5,000. He hasn't died on the cross. He hasn't risen from the dead. And God the Father says, I am well pleased with my beloved Son. You know, for many years, I tried to work very hard so that God the Father would be pleased with me, would be happy with me. And so I did what I thought was getting brownie points with God. I was invested in every single conceivable ministry in the church, children's church. I was serving as a pastor. I was in leadership. I was serving in the finance. I served everywhere in the church. In order to gain brownie points with God, I was reading my Bible, studying the Bible, taking courses in Bible college, a street evangelism. I was doing, oh my goodness, what I wasn't doing. I was involved in all of that. And down deep inside, it was to try to attain more favor, be more pleasing to God the Father. This verse set me free. I pray that if you are today trying to obtain more acceptance with the Father, that you too would be set free. God said concerning His Son, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Can I tell you something, dear brother, sister? Listen to me. You are in the Son. When you gave your life to Christ, God placed you in His Son which means that His righteousness is now your righteousness, which means that God the Father is well pleased with you already. You see, because you're in the Son. So it's not about your righteousness. Our righteousness are as filthy as rags. The Bible tells us that. But it's about the righteousness of His Son. And because you're in the Son, His righteousness is yours. And God would say to you and I, I'm already well pleased with you because you're in my Son. And because we're in His Son, we have acceptance before God. God accepts us now. And so the fellowship that we have with God, we're not trying to earn God's acceptance. Jesus did that for us. And now we're called to enjoy the Father. Not trying to seek approval, 
but rather enjoying the Father, enjoying fellowship with the Father who's already well pleased with us because we are in His Son. He's not looking at our righteousness. He's not looking at our at our works to try to get more, you know, brownie points with Him. Oh, what a different, oh, listen, I can't tell you how freeing that is because we're talking about a whole different ball game now. Oh, I, I read my Bible and I study the Bible and I teach the Bible and I still share Christ with people and I still love serving the Lord in ministry. Oh, but now it's all an enjoyment. It's all an outflow of the fellowship that I have with Jesus Christ. I'm not trying to earn favor with the Father. Now I'm just enjoying fellowship with Him and His Son and fellowship with the Holy Spirit. And so I pray that if you are in this place of trying to attain fellowship with the Father, or stronger bond with the Father, or however that works out in your mind, Jesus has already attained it for you. You are in Christ. Enjoy. Don't try to attain anything, but rather enjoy fellowship with the Father, with His precious Son, and with the Holy Spirit. Saints, he is well pleased with you already because you are in His Son. Enjoy fellowship with Him today. May the Lord richly bless you.